Dun 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 Hello again, everybody. This is STFU Gabe, and after a week of planning and preparing, I'm bringing you a domination match on a state. Today, I am using the silenced UMP with FMJ pistol, frag grenade, stun grenade, scavenger pro, stun power pro, ninja pro, and martyrdom. Domination. Another hit. Since the last video, there have been a few updates in the past week. For one, I found my S video cable, the one I've been trying to look for months, and, which will allow me to uh, make better quality videos than the one you're seeing here, which you'll actually be able to see clearly. Second, uh, I pre-ordered COD 7 and I got the free poster from GameStop, which you can still do if you order quickly. I think it's the first hundred thousand. Now, since I'm talking about COD 7, I want to give my impressions of the world trailer that came out a few days ago. Now, when I had seen the trailer, I thought that it would have elements of the previous three games, COD 4, 5, and 6. It reminded me of COD 4 because it had the same kind of operations like it did in COD 4 with the uh, uh, SAS. And it reminded me of COD 5 because of the somewhat similar environments and also the ruggedness of the characters that you see in the American campaign. It has a obvious, obvious similarity uh, to COD 6 because it uses the same message as in uh, COD 6, Captain Fry's infamous for the record speech where every history is a lie and the victors write history. And whatsoever, but I like that message. I I still, it's true. I had to admit that. Now I believe this is the third uh, installation by Treyarch in the series. Uh, the first one being the third, and the second one being the fifth. To bring it right out, I just want Treyarch to improve the campaign. <laughs> Fuck you, kid! You're dead. Because the third one used terrible cutscenes, and the fifth one was horribly unfair. Incoming! Now let me stop complaining and let me tell you how to improve Treyarch. First of all, do what Modern Warfare 2 did for the series and make the AI fair. That means no more endless enemy respawn, no more grenade spam, and no more everyone has their sights on me. Second of all, could you please decrease the areas where it's impossible to kill the enemy without killing yourself? Because I, I have gone through that for hours because of that. That is the one thing that dreads me most, especially in the trenches. Well, there won't be any trenches in uh, 7, but still. Make fairer areas. Other than that, I'm in for Kami Zombies mode instead of Nazi Zombies. Still fun to play. Always fun to play. Especially with friends. I would like to take a minute to uh, Call out, uh, yeah, boy, Chuck714. He's got, uh, two videos of a, uh, great athlete. I think his name is U Uzian Bolt. Yeah. Um, uh, I saw two videos, and that was epic, man. He was epic. So if you want to see those two videos and check out his channel, then it'll be all good. So now that I'm done with all of that, I'm going to give a few tips on domination. I've seen many commentators on this subject of domination that you should go for the flags and not for the kills. Well, you should go for both and just not forget the flags like a lot of my team is doing right now. But there is one thing that I don't see a lot of commentators uh, focus on. One thing that's relatively important when trying to capture the flag. What you say? Mm, that it's all for the best. What I mean is that I have not seen a commentator uh, go into detail as to how to secure a position effectively and without you dying. So if you see what I'm doing here, I am going to seize bomb where my whole team is still trying to get into the house. And thank God I have the silenced UMP, which is very helpful when you're trying to infiltrate into a uh, s s very low uh, part of the enemy's spawn. 
I'm sorry, didn't know what to say there. But anyway, I uh, I totally rape in this uh, few minutes here because I get rid of the trash in here, all the all the snipers and uh, because a few people do come in here. What I'm trying to say is make a perimeter to make sure that the safe uh, the side is secure and then secure it and it's relatively good to have few people around you so they can take over that is a perfect example of what I meant it's also uh, handy to have tactical insertion which I don't have right now but tactical insertion to uh, stay close to uh, the point so you can secure it again if it gets taken over and also you know that I love my flashbangs because they always always help when you're trying to uh, get to someone always it's so fun to use on someone and you see that it's better not to take the direct approach because you're gonna get usually get uh, sprayed by snipe well not sprayed uh, sniped by snipers so it's uh, good enough that you take the side path because you won't get as much infiltration uh, resistance and it's always a, it's always a good thing to be sneaky in this game and as you see here I am taking them out one by one each time and I go around upstairs downstairs I look outside a little bit and see if anyone's there and I go back to uh, try and secure the position but s s somehow there is a camper there that totally sucks at his what he does I mean look at that he could have killed me so easily I mean I laughed when I saw that by the way does anyone get that feeling when they're securing a position like come on come on hurry up hurry up hurry up uh, it's, come on they're gonna kill me just please hurry up does anyone ever get that uh, feeling because I do most of the time, except when it's like 75% done. Then I know I, ha I have it secured. Anyway, brainless juvenile teammate still trying to get to A. And really, I wouldn't really want them to try and capture A. Because that's going to mess up the spawn system. And it's going to, it can, that could cause a complete opposite of controlling the all the map. They could easily... Redominate you on all three on all three positions. If you captures all three, I've seen it before. It's happened to me before, and I've done it before. So it's always good to have at least, at most, I mean, two secure positions rather than all three. You see, here is the point where I felt safe, but I died like so close to securing it. And now I start to follow my team mate's incurable disease of stupidity and actually try to go forward to the house where I get sniped by a sniper. So there, they were just camping by the house most of the game. So yeah, it was a close game and if I had not captured C then it would be the end. So I'm not sure what the game score is but I believe it's like a 2 K KD but KDR doesn't really matter anymore to me. So since I'm not on my good computer, I won't be able to upload again until Friday. But until then, uh, I want you to check out this uh, guy's uh, videos of the Yuzhen Bolt guy. They're fun. Check them out. Uh, so that's uh, this week's gameplay, and I'll see you later, guys.